Greetings, people of YouTube. Duck and Creepers here, and welcome to a build showcase. I know it's been a long time since I've done one of these, but I was challenged. I'm here with Emily and her sister Elizabeth, and Emily had challenged me to a build off to see who could build a better base. So I created 101 by 101 plots, and the three of us built houses, and we're gonna see which one's best. You guys can vote in the comments, although I don't think anyone's actually gonna do that. You guys, you can speak. Hey! <laughs> Good work. I think Emily wants to go first. Okay, fine, I'll go first. Okay, Emily is going first, then. Okay, hi, MTV, and welcome to my crib. Um, I'm going to take you on a tour. <laughs> if you come over here, you'll notice my beautiful house, architecture, um, my beautiful lawn, watered every day. Um, ignore the graffiti you see here, you know, we have some vandalism, but that's alright. Some Stay vandalism. Okay, backstory time. M thought she was being cool, and she was gonna write a sign that said scrub and pointed to my house. But she forgot the R. So now we have the famous scub sign. No, well... It was done on purpose for artistic- It was not done on purpose. I pointed artist. out that there was no R, and you freaked out, so... Over here, you can see my neighbor's house, uh, not as good as mine. Okay, anyways, everyone, step in, wipe your feet, take off your shoes or whatever before you walk in. Wipe your feet. Yeah. <laughs> this is the foyer. Welcome to my crib. Um, the foyer. Um, your ceiling is leaking. Oh, uh, it's- no! It's a leaking. <laughs> 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 anyways. Um, I have quality black and white tiles on my floor, just ignore the leaking Wool room. and quartz. Yeah, yeah. Wool isn't tiles, it's wool. It's cloth. <laughs> so you're like, alternating between tiles and carpet. <laughs> it's an artistic choice, just move on. Um, to your right, you will have the kitchen. It has... You, it has utilities that no Minecraft player has ever needed, like ovens and a refrigerator with absolutely you know, nothing inside of it. Jake, you know what? It also has a stripper lamp. It does- No! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you never removed that sign? I guess not. We were saying the lamp looked like a stripper pole, so I called it the stripper lamp, and I guess she never took the sign down. Nice. Um, here, we have the pantry. Whoa, it's an empty closet. Yeah, that I'm about to lock you into. Oh um, no. Cameraman's gone. Just when I needed him. Come here. Where is he? Come on, Jake. Alright, uh, you saw the beautiful view of the stairs. Uh, this is my movie theater basement. A couch. A painting. A TV. I love your flower, George. A TV, Jake. I'll push you off the end table. Alright, let's go. Who's playing music? Um, <laughs> no. Dang it, Jake. Alright, let's go. Come on. So that's my basement and TV room. As we fly up the stairs. Um, this is the guest room where our guests will stay. Beautiful window views. And logs all over the floor. <laughs> like, if this was an actual room, the floor would just be a bunch of logs. <laughs> So, maybe people like the feeling of logs under their feet. I know I do. So just, come on. <laughs> and shutters inside. Okay, um, this is just a living room. To Whoa. relax and look at the view outside. And we're going up the stairs. Into my bedroom. This is the master, as they call it. Yes, this is the master bedroom. I'm pretty sure the guest room was bigger. Doesn't matter. <laughs> you were literally. It's another bathroom. This is my bathroom. Shower, uh, sink, and toilet. And the bath that leaks through to the um, foyer underneath. Yeah. And um, that this is my house. No, you have to uh, fix 
So one more over here. No, I don't. No, we're not going over there. No. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Come out of back. Here's a pool that um, I never got to finish. <laughs> I gave you like months to finish this, so don't well, give me that. All right. Elizabeth so here now. is Elizabeth's house. Okay, oh god, I dropped my potato. So, my choices of garden stuff. We have pumpkin seeds, melon seeds, carrots, potatoes, and extra land. And three rows that don't have any. Whatever. Now, we will go into thy house. You will see a bathroom. Maybe this time we won't break the door instead of just opening it. You will see a sink, a toilet, and a shower thing. You will also see a kitchen. That's what you do at a table. And then we have our playground, which right here we have a sandbox. Sandbox. Some. Uh, well, we have a slide that doesn't look too slidey. Can you even put ladder ladders on fences? No, but. But it looks pretty, so... There you go. I mean, that's, there's a nice, beautiful fountain in the center. There's a sign where you can toss in money. And then we have this area to the right. What are you... Oh, thank you. That's so kind. You have a lot of wishes. <laughs> so, then to the right, we have a bench and tables and then so we have a tennis court right here how do you play minecraft right. tennis moving on yeah <laughs> so to the left is a swimming pool and a hot tub and as you can see from above my initials are carved into the pool in glowstone yes her initials are eh don't drown i'm drowning Sarah. help i cannot swim please don't drown <laughs> You kind of need to film the video for us. Vibes, as people call it nowadays. We will go into the first bedroom. Oh my god, I forgot about that. That really scared me. And here's another room, which is exactly the same. Every painting is unique. There's none of the same anywhere. Even though there's three of the same right there, but... You know, they're, everyone, it's unique. Tables, if you want to relax, read your book, have a coffee or tea, and just chillax. Okay, so then we have a little bookcase right here with some nice flowers. Flowers. If you want to chillax, read a book. And then we have our chests, which are act like these jewelry box or important stuff box I have a glass ceiling so you can see the roof and enjoy the view of the rest of the house moving on you can do read a book we have a library which there's hundreds of books all new and donated some not donated some bought but you know it just depends on what the book is some have long journeys, like the journeys inside of them as well. Some have short journeys bought from the your local Barnes and Nobles. Same thing on the other side, and I don't know if anyone noticed, but there's these nice, beautiful benches, handcrafted wood from the localist woodist. The localist woodist. And then there's a... It's, it's a woodist, like the person who carves the wood. You mean a carpenter? Um, maybe. Now, for the final finale, let's just jump off. Ready, cameraman? Three, two, one. As you see the EH, yeah! Good job. And that is my house. I worked so hard on this house. Oh my god. Can you, can I you got what I need. Hand me the mic. You say he's just a friend. I know she has no shame.
Okay. I literally have no shades. Alright, my house is the last one. It's over here. Okay, this sign is telling you don't vote for Ducking Creeper. He is a scrubby dubby ducky. And this other one says a scrub lives here. Hmm, I wonder who could have put those. <laughs> I wonder where those signs came from. I guess we'll never know. <laughs> Whoa, hey, what's going on? How did I get up here? I felt I did a pretty poor job of actually explaining about my house when we were actually recording this, so now I'm back by myself to do a better job of explaining what I built here, how it was done, etc. So, my objective with this build was to create something that resembled the surface component to a large underground base. I built this fortress starting with the path around the entire 101 by 101 square. Then I built the lava moat and all these nice little drawbridges, there's one on each side. And then for the center area, I built circles at each of the four corners to act as towers. And then I did an arc that goes between each of them, which is an arc of a larger circle that's not completely built, obviously, because otherwise it would go way out to there somewhere. Uh, it was an interesting challenge to try to get the shape to look nice, but overall I'm very happy with the result. So once I had that exterior wall going, um, the inside was pretty simple. I started with an old dark oak floor, then I built the beacons at the center, all the wool patterns and such. Ow! My sister feels like bugging me in the middle of recording. Isn't that nice, internet? <sighs> Anyways, staircases are at each of the four corners as well as in the center. They all have a beacon in the center encased by stained glass. Now when you come up to the top, this is where things got really interesting. So I built this diamond on the top, and then I built stairs to connect it down nicely to the fringe pathway. The most challenging part of this entire build, though, was um, the creation of this roof here. Because it's not any particular shape, it's like an abstract curve shape, and it took me so long to get it right. But it does look pretty nice and flows nicely with the shape of the building. Ah, sorry I sound so monotone, I'm a bit tired right now. So yeah, that's my obsidian fortress. Maybe someday I'll use the design to build an underground base beneath one somewhere, if I'm ever that motivated to do this in survival. And now back to your regularly scheduled video. Whoosh! Hola! Okay, box that was our base builds. Leave a like if you did, and let us know in the comments which house was your favorite. Also, like and subscribe and comment. Never forget the scub sign. It will live on forever. No. It will not. See you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye! Give us your lunch money. Wow. <laughs> Rude.